Hi guys, Tony Chow here with Animation News. But you're not watching Animation News. You're watching me. What have I been doing all this time? Like, like where have I been for so long? Well, I was just thinking it's time for me to make some new content. However, the latest was the Loud House with new episodes. But, however, it's just that they want to do something improving the channel, not just with animation news, but we can also do animation trivia, however. And yeah, sorry, sorry if you're hearing some NASCAR, because I'm a huge NASCAR fan, to be honest. But, uh, I, I know, that's uh, irrelevant, and that's not true! Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. However, we do some animation trivia with a course where we do some facts about, you know, do some facts of like some references or, you know, or something like that. And of course, animation profiles where we, where we uh, do a uh, thing from the wiki, of course, and one of the characters from that said animated series. Like of course I'm doing trying to do the one with with Jana. With Jana Odonia. But uh oh sorry, I'm not supposed to touch the face because of the uh, outbreak going on. But oh, touch your face again. But Although, I'm still doing, applying the animation news wrap-up, however, doing through the movies, uh, or the TV shows, however. That, you know, just have thoughts on the uh, season, or the thoughts on the series overall, because I'm still trying to do Star vs. Forces of Evil. And, of course, the Nickelodeon Netflix shows, like Hey Arnold, the Jungle Movie, which, um... Which is um, kind of good, but, uh, you know, flawed, but still good. And then, of course, Rocco's Modern Life Stag Clean, however, it's where it's 20 years later from the 90s with Rocco's Modern Life. And then, of course, but Invader Sim was the most impressive with Enter the Florpus, which is, of course, my favorite, you know, which is my favorite of the returns, of the three said returns. You know, but although the Jungle Movie finally got to solve the mystery of Arnold's parents, of why haven't they come back, and then, and then Static Clean, where they return to Earth 20 years later and everything changed, and Enter the Florpus with Zim's biggest evil plan and it's up to dib and gas to save the whole galaxy and they are not the guardians of the galaxy however and dinosaurus has got a caution oh sorry 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 everyone sorry i know it's difficult just trying to talk in watch racing because I'm a huge NASCAR fan but alright so yeah from now on guys whenever I can animation news animation trivia animation profiles animation news wrapped up and my favorite of, and of course the secret announcement I'll be making very very soon on the animation news channel that's all for the announcements now let's get to the news. I'm Tony Cho and you're watching Animation News. This breaking animation news, Jerry Stiller has passed away at the age of 92 on May 11th, 2020. Sure, he is uh, famous for a duo uh, of Stiller and Mira. But of course, of course, he's uh, preceded in death by Anne Mira, and 
of course, the age, however, of 92, but he was survived by daughter Amy Stiller and actor and comedian, his son, Ben Stiller, who's also Alex from Madagascar. But yes, he played, he's famous, of course, in no, non-animated roles. He is famous for The Kings of Queens and Zoolander. I mean, he's famous for his uh, appearance alongside with his son, such as Heavyweights, Zoolander, Hot Pursuit, The Heartbreak Kid, and of course, Zoolander 2. But he does also voice work for Planes, Fire and Rescue, Lion King One and a Half, Fish Hooks, and Teacher's Pack. However, yes, he was on Fish Hooks, playing the role of, of course, Principal Stickler. Wait, what the hell? You, come here. What the hell is this? Uh, I think that's, uh, Principal Stickler. Yes, I know that's Principal Stickler. But, but, does it look like Principal Stickler for Fish Hooks? Uh, you say, at uh, Principal Stickler. You idiot! I say, Principal Stickler from Fish Hooks. This is Principal Stickler. It, you know, from Teacher's Pets, voiced by Wallace Shawn. But, but he was on Teacher's Pets. Of course he's, I know he's on Teacher's Pets. No, he was on Teacher's Pets, but he played Pretty Boy, the parrot. But he voiced Pretty Boy, the pet parrot. Which, of course, David Owen Steer, who already passed, voiced the cat. And with Nathan Lane voicing got the, of course, the dog, who wanted to be a boy. Change this right now, or you are so fired. Okay, much better. Alright, now get out of here. Sorry, everyone. I've, uh, wanted to apologize for the, uh, the slabbing or the sense or the swearing. Just want to apologize for that. For that, so make sure. I'm gonna make sure it will not happen again. Now, where was I? Oh yeah. He also voiced Principal Stickler from Fish Hooks, which unfortunately he already had one season appearance. Well, season one only. Right before he got replaced by voice actor Jeff Glenn Bennett, who is a veteran voice actor, of course, known for the roles. As Kyle Katarn and uh, Johnny Bravo, and of course he played in various projects like Disney and Cartoon Network, and he was also on Nickelodeon. Well, right after, right after Cartoon Network decided that he's not needed anymore, but Jerry Stiller, of course, was in. was was in this show but although I do want to say of course that may he rest in peace Jerry Stiller who is famously known as author on Kings of Queens and and now he's joining in heaven with with his wife and Mira, a, a wife for for uh, for years, personal wife for years, and later succeeded the death. And his death was announced by his very own son, Ben Stiller, in which he died of natural causes in his home. But right before we're going to get to the next news coverage. Let's have a moment of silence for 
the man, the legendary comic, and, of course, you know, he was on Seinfeld, paid tribute by, of course, Jerry Stiller, Julia Lewis Dreyfus, and Jason Alexander. And alongside with Kings and Queens castmates, Leah Ramley and comedian Kevin James. But we are having a moment's silence right now. And we're back. But unfortunately, we are back with, you know, another obituary. Fred Willard has passed away on May 15th on a Friday. But as announced by Jamie Lee Curtis of Natural Causes, he was 86 years old. Meaning, he was born in 1934. Or, 1935, no, oh, he was born either in uh, January through May, 19, 1930, uh, 1934, or June through December, 1933. Yep. As announced by by Jamie Lee Curtis, who is married to uh, Christopher Guest, and of course, frequently worked with Fred Willard, and we are of course. And here's the roles he was famously known for. Well, not just in not animation related, but film related because he's an actor naturally well not this is Spinal Tap which of course included voice actors like Christopher Guest and Harry Harry Shearer of the Simpsons and uh, of course and of course he was on uh, Austin Powers the spy who shagged me as the mission commissioner and he was also in the Wedding planner and uh, and of course Harold Kumar go to White Castle and my favorite Will Ferrell movie, The Legend Anchorman, The Legend of Ron Burgundy and Wake Up Ron Burgundy, The Lost Movie, which is a direct to video. And of course he was on uh, or. Legend of the Phantosaur, Scooby-Doo, and Anchorman, The Legend Continues. But, now we are going to go to the animation, however. His roles in animation, however. And, of course, it was he was in Chicken Little as one of the aliens. And, he's also one of the fathers in, uh, in Monster House. And he was also in Wally, but but not in animation, however, but in a camera speaking to the future of the 2800s, the civilians of the 1800s, sorry, of the 2800s, is Shelby Forsyth, BNL CEO. And he, he was also on. Planes, Fire, and Rescue, as the Secretary of Editor, which also has the late Jerry Stiller, who passed away four, four days before him, of, of natural causes. Uh, the, but, however, we're going to be focusing on his animation role, of course, on TV. He's, of course, known as Grimm's nemesis, however. Oh, wait, but we're going to get to television. He's not just for movies, but he did appear on Saturday Night Live, and he was the host, along with musical guest Devo, in 1978. 
And he was also on Get Smart, which the show was on the 60s. Oh, wait, which is where he guest starred on the episode A Tale of Two Tales in 1968. Which is a spy comedy, however. And he was on The Golden Girls, which is my mother's favorite show. And I'm not lying on that. And he was on Married with Children. And he's also the father on The Ben Stiller Show. He was also in three episodes of Family Matters. With Jaleel White, who is also Sonic the Hedgehog. But now we got now we are in an animation world where he played where he voiced Vic on Hercules, the the TV show for four episodes, and of course, Wally Krogan on Sunday Cruddy Sunday, where he guest starred on The Simpsons. He's also Pa for the three episodes of Buzz Lightyear of Star Command, which of course was a TV was a direct to video movie, but he was not in it, but he was in the TV show where it has Patrick Warburton voicing Buzz Lightyear, which originally in the film Tim Allen's the voice. And he was also in King of the Hill as Officer Brown and various voices. Hey Arnold as Sammy Redmond. And he's also on the episode Lab on a Run as F-R-E-D. You know, for, for famous for its song, Ryan Nat Haug. But he's also David Campbell for two episodes of Family Guy. And then... Oh yeah, he's also in Kim Possible for three episodes as Jack Hanch. And he's also narrator for the for the sketch of SNL, but but he's not credited. But he's also on the Batman as the Speedway announcer. But he only appeared on two episodes of what you see here on this picture, Billy and Mandy. And of course, he was on Brandy and Mr. Whiskers. And he's voice of, well, I'm not going to mention that bit show on uh, Cartoon Hours, but tell, oh, he was also in a television film. But, but he's also on Handy Manny as Mr. Dwayne Bolvan. Of course. And he was also in My Jim Herder's Monkey as Bert. And he's also on a TV movie, Billy and Mandy's Boogie Adventures. He's also on the Boondocks as Mr. Joe Petto. But, I'm, um, you know, not going to be pictured on here. He, he was also Pop Pop on the Loud House as Pop Pop. All the way till his illness. All the way through to his illness. Which means, um, means he already passed. He was also Grandpa Murphy. On Milo's Murphy Law for two episodes, A Christmas Peril, and I. But however, he's also he was also in a Tim and Eric project, which is no secret that I love Tim and Eric so much. Is you know the two are comical geniuses. You know, or they are the Laurel and Hardy of the modern era. With uh, Eric Wareheim and Tim Heidecker. Well, for the uh, projects, Tim and Eric's Bedtime Stories. And, uh, well, not The Bachelor. And, uh, it was also Harvey Beaks. But, I mean, that's not Tim and Eric, that's uh, the friend of creator Chowder. And he was also in Awesome Shows. 
Oh, wait, Tim and Eric Gossip Show? Great job. Which is a net, which is another project they worked on. But although he was also in Tom Goes to the Mayor for the episode Vice Mayor, which is of course is pictured on here, and that is of course the best episode where I've done, you know? Of course, that is my favorite Tim and Eric project right there. But although Yeah, like I say, it's no secret I love Tim and Eric, but that's for another video. But for now, just, we're going to end this episode, sorry, end this coverage in a moment of silence. I'm Tony Chow, and you're watching, and thank you for watching this unfortunate double breaking animation news.